Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing such an exciting video that I've been wanting to do for a while now. I am testing out $1 makeup from Shop Miss A. It's an online website that has makeup all for a dollar. They also have um, like hair accessories, masks, skincare, bags, scarves, like all this stuff all for a dollar. It's so cool and I just wanted to test it out because maybe we find a great, great item in this haul for a dollar. Like you can't beat that. So if you want to see how these one dollar items perform then just keep watching. Okay, so I have everything laid out here and also a disclaimer, their brushes A plus. You can get a whole pack for ten dollars. So it's ten brushes for ten dollars. And then, but the one I get, there is two $10 sets, but there's also a $20 set, which is 20 brushes, and it's, like, amazing. Let me show you some of the brushes I have. I have this big fan one, powder brush, like, I have all these brushes I use, like, every single day, and they're all from Shop Miss A. So, very good quality, very fluffy brushes, so definitely check these out. I didn't get any of these because... They were sold out. Like the big $20 one was sold out. So I was really sad because I wanted to do like a full, full face of Shot Miss A. But yeah, I'll try to use as many brushes I have from them in this video. So let's get started with primer. I have this AOA Studio Wonder Skin Poreless Primer. Looks like this. It has like a gel feel to it. Oh. And I'm just going to put it on my face. I have my mirror over here. That's why I'm looking over here. So it's supposed to illuminate your pores. It honestly just feels like I'm putting water on my face. Like it's just like a nice jelly. I don't know if they were trying to compare it to like the Smashbox primer. That's originally like why I bought it because I'm like, I like the Smashbox primer. But I don't know. I guess we'll see how it performs underneath the foundation. So next is foundation. I got the Santee Flawless Perfect Finish Foundation Smooth Natural Drop Liquid. And I think the shade is 01, I think. Like, it's super light. Um, yeah, so this is the shade I got. It's a little dropper. It looks so thick. So I guess I'm just going to put it on my skin. Yeah, it just feels really thick right now. And it's a little more yellow. Or orange, kind of. Kind of orange. So I'm going to use my normal sponge and blend this in. So right off the bat, it's not full coverage. You can still see my scarring. So it kind of has like a dewy finish, which I like. I like the finish of it. It's just not really full coverage. But that's okay. I can work with that. So here's the foundation. Not bad. Not for, bad for a dollar. I would recommend that. So it's the Santee Flawless Perfect Finish Foundation. Next, we're going to go into concealer. I forgot concealer. Dang it. I forgot concealer. Uh, so I got the, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Sorry about that. So next is powder. So I have this AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. Just like this. I also have this Zuri Flawless Shaping and Strobing Face Contouring and Highlighting Kit. Okay. And this, this shade right here is just a regular powder. So um, I might mix the two. So first I'm going to do this setting powder and at least set my eyes. I have this little sifter on it. And just set my under eyes. I'm actually going to go into uh, AOA Studio F20 brush. And just pat this all. Oh my. It's going everywhere. Put it all over my face. Okay. So here's the powder. It's super smooth. I actually don't hate it. I actually think I like it. My eyebrows look whack. But yeah, I would. Yeah, for a dollar. Heck yeah. This is really good. So yeah, in case you guys want to buy it. I'm going to link all the products down below. I'm going to go into this Zuri contour palette and just 
take a brush, take this brush, and kind of just use the lighter shade to pat under my eyes to kind of lighten it up a little bit. I'm now going to bronze, so I'm going to take this orangey shade over here, very pigmented, and just bronze my face. Um, it's not blending out the best, as you can see. Very pigmented, but it's kind of patchy, which stinks because my base looks really good, actually. Like blending in. See, that's a little bit patchy. Okay, I'm gonna contour this more ashy shade. I'm going to use this elf brush. How I contour is I start like right here. And I just bring it into my hairline. I don't drag it too far down because it just won't look like a contour really. So kind of lightly just drag it. And don't do like a straight line. You see how my, I look a little bit contoured here? Don't do like a straight line. Kind of blend it up into the bronzer. So definitely contoured, but it's a little, like I said, it's a little bit patchy. So it's up to you guys. This is a dollar. And I liked this normal powder. This is the contour. And here is the highlighter. Not the best, and then the bronzer. So I mean, it's a dollar. So I mean, if you, even if you like one of these shades, I would say get it. I don't know if I would repurchase. I don't know if I'd use this again, but yeah, it was a dollar, so I'm not too mad about it. I'm going to go into my brows really fast, and I have this AOA Studio Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade, the shade Caramel, and it looks like this. And I'm going to take an eyebrow brush and just do my brows and we'll be right back. So here are my brows. Okay, I'm not going to go close. Here are my brows. Um, they're good. The pomade's good. Like I said, it's a little bit drying, not very, it's not the smoothest, but it's not horrible. Next, we're going to blush. I'm going to go into this AOA Studio Lumi Radiant Blush. This looked beautiful on the website, so I had to pick it up. So it is looming. See that shine? So let's see if it's actually illuminating on the ah! on the face. Here's an AOA Studio brush, F14. It's a blush brush. It's very pigmented. It's kind of like an orange shade. And just it does have a little luminosity to it. See? A little shimmer right there. I kind of like that. I don't hate that. Do you guys see the little sh the shine in it? Like right there, that little shine. We're doing too. We're doing pretty good here, folks. So yes, I would. I would recommend this. This is a good one. I want to go back and see all those shades because I'm just like intrigued. Okay, now. so here is one of the things I've been waiting to test out, like waiting to film this. It's an eyeshadow palette. It's called. Bear. It's by A2O. Look at this. Like that is so beautiful. This was ten dollars. But I mean, look how many shadows you get. Twenty-five shades for ten dollars. And look at the colors. So I'm gonna go in with this palette. Take my Morphe brush, like always, and I'm going to go in. Oh, I'm not going to set my eyes. Usually I use eyeshadow primer, but I'm just not going to today. Bare eyes are coming out. Where do I even begin with this? I'm going to take this, these two, and take the same brush. And put it into my crease. So that's pretty. 
So I'm going to take another crease brush and I'm going to go into a little darker shade. So I'm going to go into this bottom one right here. And go right below it. Where is it? Okay. So it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. That's why I thought I couldn't see it. So here's what I have right now. Just this little brown transition shape. My, I don't look bad. Like really, this looks fine. And this palette, what I was thinking was that like, if I'm traveling, I could bring this and it literally has everything I possibly could need. And if it gets ruined, it's $10. You know what I mean? Dang it. But like, I guess it's, you know what I'm saying? And they have three other shades, I believe. There's like a really colorful one, super beautiful. I'm considering it. This more purple shade one, like all really dark, but like so, so pretty. I can insert them all down below. They also have like this weird one. It's like greens and oranges. I don't know. I didn't like it. I don't think it all went together. So I just want this one because it's a very natural one. This color right here is calling my name. I just want to swatch it. Oh my god. <gasps> okay. Yep. I'm using this one. I'm just going to use my finger and put it over my lid. Oh. Yes. Done. Where's the party? I'm ready for the party. Like this palette, get it. Run. Run out. Or run to your computer and go get it. So, so good. Let's swatch. Do you want me to swatch all the shimmers? So first I'm going to do the first row. Oh my. And then the one I did on my eye, I guess I'll swatch it again. Swatch on his eyes. Good. And this whole next row is shimmers. So I'm going to go from this down. Here's that row. All so pretty, so metallic. And there's four left. I have this little guy here and then these three at the bottom. So I'll swatch those for you guys. It's like a dark, this one's like a dark black one. I really liked this one. Like it was light, but not super light. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Oh my God. Just use your finger to pat out. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush, go in with my two crease shades, run it under my eye. I'm going to take this smaller brush and go into a darker shade and run it under my lash line. I'm kind of dragging this like right up here just to define the crease a little bit. Okay, so I also got a, ah! I also got an eyeliner. I got the Amuse Waterproof Eyeliner. How cute this packaging is. Twist it up. Little stick. I'm just going to make a wing. So this eyeliner kind of struggled when I went over the sh um, shimmer shades, but it's not bad. I got I got a wing. I like a pen. The pen style on it, so I recommend that too. What is next? Mascara, AOA Studio Fat Lash Mascara. Here's the brush. Oh, I love that. So it looks like one of those brushes that's gonna hurt. You know, like those mascaras that like hurt your eye when you put them on. Why? 
ignore the dot, but here's my mascara. I didn't put too much on because I'm going to put lashes on, but... Not bad. It's not my favorite, but... So I'm going to go with the Chloe lashes. So pretty. Not what I would normally wear. I, cut, I went in and cut them a little bit because they were super long. But I cut them so they fit my eye. That was so easy. Oh, they're pretty. They had tons of different lash styles. So many of them. So just go on the website and just check it out, you know? And maybe, like, order your own set of a full face. Like, order your own, like, full face of $1 stuff. Do something completely different than what I'm doing. I want to hear, like, what you guys got. Like, maybe we're all missing out, like, hidden gems, you know? And there's tons of videos like this on YouTube. So just type in, like, $1 makeup, and I'm sure, like, this is the brand they're talking about. And I've washed a couple... And people find like their favorite stuff from here. So, yeah. You don't have to buy the highest, ex you don't have to buy the most expensive thing to get a good face. Like, look at this. I do not look bad right now. My full face is probably like $20, you know? That one was a little bit more of a pain, but here are the eyelashes. So, I'm going to go into highlighter, and I think I messed up on this one, guys. Um, I got this eyeshadow, Princessa Pearl Powder. I don't know if I should put this on my eyes or my face. Let's look at it. So here's, it's like a little powder. Let's put, it's blue, I think. I think I messed up. Uh, should I put it on my inner corner? I'm going to put it on my inner corner. Put my brush in there and just put it in the inner corner of my eye. Too much. Way too much. Did I just ruin everything? I mean, it's pretty. It's blue. It's really pretty. It's just, I don't know. If I should have done that. Hey, I was going to use every, one of, every item I bought, so I guess it looks kind of cool. I might drag it a little under in the inner in here. It's like right in my inner corner of my eye. Because it is an eyeshadow, and this would look really beautiful on top of like a whole different look. It just doesn't go really with the look I was going for, but hey. It's all about trial and error here, ladies and gents. Okay, let's highlight our face. So let's do, go back into this Zuri Flawless Strobing Palette. I'm going to go into this highlighter shade. Yep. Uh, you can't tell, but there's glitter. Straight glitter on my face now. Yeah, I don't think I like this palette, to be honest. I'm not going to buy it for a light powder shade, you know. Might work for someone else, but not for me. So I got this LA Colors Auto Lip Liner in the color... I got it in the color Rose Brown. So it looks like... A little tip. And then it has a little... You can move it up like that. So I'm going to line my lips. So with LA Colors, you can get this at other stores. I don't know if... This would be a dollar at the other stores, though. I'm not sure. Okay, so here's my lips lined. Don't look too closely. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to take this AOA Studio Wonder Lipstick in the shade Blossom. Looks like this. Pretty nude shade. So I'll put this lipstick on. So this is beautiful. I really like this shade a lot. It is completely matte though. So yeah, here is the completed look with $1 makeup. Final thoughts. Things I did not like. Primer. Foundation was okay, I guess. I did not like this palette, which you guys know. Everything else I think I liked. The eyeliner was okay. 
and so is the mascara. So these two are okay. The mascara and eyeliner, but highlights. Like, come on. Love the lips, loved the blush, loved the powder. Foundation was fine. Yeah. I would say this is very successful. I think it's really pretty and yeah, just go check out everything they have. Like I want to place another order of like more of these blushes and the, more of this eyeshadow. Like I just want to keep looking because I know there's so many gems here and more of these lipsticks. Like these are so pretty. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my $1 makeup tutorial. Um, I have some videos coming soon. And I'm really, really excited about them. So if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. And yeah, have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.